Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the lymphatic system and we won't be talking about the immune system today. So let's first talk about the lymphatic system and the functions of the lymphatic system. There are three main functions. The first one is going to be to collect excess fluid and return it back to the cardiovascular system. Where does this fluid come from? Well, if you remember this picture, this is a picture showing what's going on at the capillary end, and you should be familiar with this picture because we've already covered this. The left-hand side of the screen shows the arterial end, where the hydrostatic pressure due to the blood pressure is quite high, and it's going to force some of the fluid, the liquid fluid, the plasma of the blood out into the interstitial space. When it leaves the capillary, it's going to take with it nutrients, proteins, and gases that those cells need. On the other end, the venous side shown here on the right hand side of your screen, the pressure is much lower pushing fluids out of the capillary, but the inward force is the same. The colloid osmotic pressure is going to help suck fluid back into the capillary. This blood will then return back to the heart. Now, not all of the fluid that leaves on the arterial side is going to come back in on the venous side. That extra fluid needs to be returned to the cardiovascular system, and it is in fact picked up by something called a lymphatic capillary. That lymphatic capillary is going to be, bring that fluid back to the cardiovascular system. The second function of the lymphatic system is to transport fats that were absorbed from the small intestine. Remember, in the digestive system, both carbohydrates and proteins are able to be digested across the wall of the GI tract into the blood. However, lipids are not absorbed in this way. They are transported across the wall of the GI tract into a lymphatic capillary, or it's called a lacteal. The lipids will be transported with the rest of the lymph fluid through the lymphatic system and eventually join with the rest of the circulatory system when the lymph returns to circulation. The last function of the lymphatic system is to house the immune system. The immune system helps to protect and defend the body against foreign and potentially dangerous invaders. There are a couple different types of organs that are in the lymphatic system. The primary lymph organs include the bone marrow and the thymus. The bone marrow is the site of hematopoiesis, or where the blood cells are created. The thymus is where the T cells created in the bone marrow will go for education to learn self from non-self. We'll talk about this in the second video. The secondary lymph organs include the spleen and the lymph nodes. The spleen helps to filter and clean the blood and both the spleen and the lymph nodes house many many white blood cells, lymphocytes, that look at the fluid traveling through the spleen and the lymph nodes to see if there are any foreign invaders that require a smackdown. This picture shows the capillary bringing nutrients and oxygen to the interstitial fluid spaces. Most of the fluid, again, is taken back up to the capillary at the venous end, but about 15% of the fluid doesn't go back into the circulatory system. If it were left to accumulate in the tissue spaces, there would be an excess of fluid there. This causes a condition known as edema. The lymphatic system absorbs the fluid and brings it back to the circulatory system. However, it's different from the circulatory system in that this circulation goes in one direction. It is a one-way street where excess fluid in the interstitial space is absorbed into the blind lymphatic capillary and it carries the lymph back to the right and left subclavian veins. On the way, the fluid passes through the secondary lymph organs, the lymph nodes and spleen, where there are lots of immune cells to check it over for potential problems. The secondary lymph organs are the home of the lymphocytes of the immune system. In this way, the tissue fluid is picked up from the tissues and brought back to the circulatory system. On the way, it is surveyed for any foreign invaders. If there is something foreign in there, the immune system will be activated. If not, the fluid will just return to the circulatory system. Thanks for watching. See you in class.